Everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of King's Quest IV, The Perils of Rosella. This is Red Lore. I hope everybody has enjoyed the series so far. Uh, we went and um, shot a unicorn with Cupid's bow to make him f like us, and now we're taking him to turn him over to an evil fairy. Because that sounds humane. I'm pretty sure I can't drive this thing. I'm glad that... Uh, Oh, here comes the Let's Goons. I would not want to drive the horse up that winding path, that's all I'm going to say. They're going to sweep us all off together. There we go. Speed this up. I should start my timer as well. I guess they're just going to keep the horse there and tote us off. Excellent. So, Lilette says, I hear you were a good girl and brought me the unicorn. Yes, yes, I did. I'm almost convinced you might be innocent after all, but she clears her throat. Not quite. More stuff. Oh no, this doesn't sound good, you think? That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. Well, it continues. I'm desirous of the hen that lays the golden eggs, which I believe is in the ogre's house. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. Okay, currently the hen is kept by the ogre and his wife. Yeah, okay. Fun stuff to do. All right, bring me the hen and you shall have your freedom and a great reward. Mm. I suppose the great reward is going to be her son, but we'll see. Take her away, Lilith orders her goons. And plop, they drop me off. Try heading back to the ogre's house. I think we have everything that we need. Um, I should also do this. Looks like probably after this episode, I'm going to have to go scrape those save games out um, of 2.30. Because this is timed, I don't want to give up some of those save games because we may have to go back. Oh, Lord, gosh forbid. Okay. All right, if you touch any of these trees, they snatch you up and you die. So, an enchanted or haunted forest. All right. We've got to find a way to get into the ogre's house. Oh, the ogre sees you. You'd better run. She'd like to have you for dinner. Oh, did she? She was dragging something. Oh my goodness! All right. I think. Let's see. Look in window. You pick the window and cannot make out any deta details. All right. Um, how about open, open door, oh, door, there we go. All right, watch out, a very unfriendly bulldog rushes towards you. Um, and I can't type, weren't fast enough, all right, well, there we go. 
So we'll restore this game here. And save the game just outside the door. And we can prime. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, you could there's no way you could have been expected to type fast enough. Um, to have survived any of this, so let's save our game. Let's see if we can do a look at the ogress. Throwing the ball is the answer here. Oh, I have a bone. Okay. What is that on the table? Oh, well, antlers or horns or something. Okay. All right. Throw a bone. Oh, look at that. You quickly toss the bone to the big dog who catches it in midair happily. Happy with his surprise gift, he takes it to his favorite rug, lies down, and begins gnawing at it. He seems to have completely forgotten about you. Okay. This isn't the most cozy... This isn't the most cozy-looking living room you've ever seen. In fact, the ogre's house looks almost frightening. Okay. Um... I guess we'll go upstairs... Look, notice a closed door. The ogre's axe leans against the wall. I guess that's what this is right here. Get axe, okay. Open the drawer. No, it's private, okay, well. Um, open door. Because these are logs that are bedside tables. Door is locked. Okay. Um, look. Look at door. Uh, the front door leads outside. There's an open doorway to the right and a closet door under the stairs. Okay. Oh, goodness. No, I don't... All right. Well, she got us there. Okay. Poor Rosella. It looks like you joined the deer in the stew pot tonight. Um, all right. Well, I need... Um, all right. So... Oh. No. There we go. Yep, yep. And we're going to go upstairs and get the axe. See if we can get into the closet door. I remember something about coming out of the closet. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Open the door. Let's go into the closet. It's a closet. Um, look. You found yourself inside the ogre's small closet. For a closet, it's surprisingly empty. You notice a large keyhole under the doorknob. Look at keyhole. Okay. You see nothing special through the keyhole. 
Oh, you hear the ogre coming home. Mm. The ogre roars. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a... Quiet, you old goat, interrupts the ogress. That's just a deer you smell. You know how you get when you're hungry. Here, eat. All right. And if I recall the, the fairy tale, he's we have to wait for him to fall asleep. But it was a giant, not an ogre. I guess you can get around um, copyright laws that way. All right. I still can't type. Okay, there he's done. Very shiny looking keyhole. Wife! Shouts the ogre, bring me my hen. Oh, there's the chicken. Lay orders the ogre. And she complies. And there's a golden egg. With excitement, you watch the hen lay a golden egg, which the ogre takes. He yawns, then falls asleep on the table. Soon his snoring rattles the walls. All right, and going to save my game. 89 of 230. And yeah, open door. And get him. And open door. Oh, what's this? Is this a pouch on his? Can I get a look at? Um, okay. All right. Um, we're caught. We're going to be dinner tonight. No, 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 we're not, because I'm going to restore my game. And I'm going to open the door. I'm going to get the hen. I'm going to open another door. Rosella run! Alright. I think we made it. Um, I think I'll be safe in the graveyard for now. Alright. Let's look at Hen. In spite of her special talent, this doesn't look much different than any old Hen. Lay. Not now, only one golden egg per day. Oh, come on. I want a golden egg. Talk to Hen. Cluck, cluck, indeed. Cluck, cluck. Uh, the raven doesn't look to be a friendly bird at all. Of course it's not. Ravens are not friendly birds. All right. So I have... Um... All right, I'm going to have to move stuff around. <sighs> okay, so I think I can do this. Let me, I'm going to switch over to an Explorer window here. And I see all of my saved games. I'm going to do a new folder. SG1. And new folder. SG2. And I'm going to move. Let's see if this blows things up when I move all of my save games. Right out from under its nose. There we go. And we'll do a save. And we're going to save it to CSG2. There is. There is. It's right there. I see it. All right, well, that's clean, so we'll just save it here of 93 of 2, 
30. All right. And on we go. Taking the hen that lays the golden egg, eggs back to Lillette. There's the raven again. Well, that's goons. Let me get another cutscene here, I guess. And when that's done, we're going to have to cut the episode off. Do I still have this set on slow? Let's make it fast until we get there. What a good girl you are, Lilette Gushes. I really ought to give you your reward right now. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> a hundred of 230 points. She pauses, and you wonder what she's up to, indeed. Lilette goes on to say, but I have just the tiniest bit of doubt left. Oh, Lordy. If you do just one more thing for me, I'll comple be completely convinced of your innocence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never believe evil people, ever. Especially when... Anyhow. You'll receive a wonderful reward. Somehow you don't quite believe her. Mm-hmm. All right, what do I have to do this time? I want to have Pandora's box. No, no, Pandora's box needs to stay wherever Pandora's box is. I be oh, that's right, that's in the, the crypt. Uh, but it said that whoever owns it would be in possession of the purest evil. And, and I'm going to turn this over to her. Mm. No. Uh, with the power, with the power and evil of Pandora's box, I would be unstoppable. Um, you, your terror returns as you realize what an evil being Lilette really is. Yeah. You wonder if you should be helping her in this way, but what can you do about it? Nothing right now. I don't know the whereabouts of Pandora's box, Lilette tells you. You must search for it yourself. Okay. Again, she orders her henchmen to take her away. And we're going to... Well, I'm going to... I'm going to change a couple screens here. Um, because where we need to be is here. But I can't recall how to get the key to open the tomb. I have a golden ball, a silver flute, a shovel, a whistle, a peacock feather, a bow and arrow, a golden crown, an axe, fishing pole, an unlit oil lantern, a note, and a glass bottle. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what we need to do. Uh, let me turn this back down to slow. And remind you guys that after I finish up King's Quest 4, I'm going to go on to King's Quest 5. We'll do King's Quest 6. And then I'm going to jump into like Space Quest and Hero Qu or, uh, Quest for Glory and Police Quest. So if you guys like this stuff, subscribe. Um... We, we gotta find some way through the forest. Well, let's save our game again. And I will see you guys next time. So until then, stay out of trouble and have fun.